for our community, it's not uh, uh, if it's going to flood again, it's when. And the water continues to rise. The worst of the flooding is... People are cleaning up. They're furious. Perth and over devastating flood. A history of flooding has left much of downtown Perth Andover underwater. The 2012 flood destroyed buildings and has been blamed for the loss of about 100 jobs. Now, residents live in fear that the water might return to the 2012 level. One more like that and another, I'm going to say, between 8 and 12 businesses are done. They're just done. That flood prompted a report examining ways to safeguard the village from future flooding. The PC government under David Allward hired consultants to come up with a mitigation plan after the flood. They proposed moving downtown Perth Andover above flood level. Brian Gallant's Liberals set aside $19 million in 2018 to start the project. But the Blaine Higgs government quashed the plan in December to save money. There doesn't seem to be the commitment to follow through with some type of funding for a program or to mitigate. But why does Perth Andover flood so much? Flooding is caused by ice jams normally. There's three rivers above Perth Andover and we try to jam in sometimes 200 kilometers of ice into 20 kilometers between Perth and Beechwood. Piles of ice getting stuck under the Perth Andover Bridge also causes flooding in the area. Perth Andover has seen four major floods. Village officials have met with the Transportation Minister about mitigation and moving businesses to higher ground. Uh, we just never heard back. 